we just jump in, we dive in, we jump in the water, we jump right into the deep end. And Father, we just thank you how you're leading us and guiding us on how to pray for the rising generations. We ask together that there would be a special anointing and a special blessing on, on this session for us. And during this time, this Facebook Live and this podcast, we ask for a special blessing of your anointing, that the gifts of the Spirit would be in operation, that you'd anoint us with fresh oil, and that we would together pray and see prayer fruit in the name of Jesus. Speaking of prayer fruit, I've had many, many people let me know about the prayer fruit that they've already seen because of the times that we've been praying together. And this is actually number 12. And, you know, I said this to you before, sometimes you see results in a week, sometimes you see results in a month, sometimes you see results in three months, six months, no matter what, Jesus said, men ought to always pray and not faint. So we're going to keep praying. So number one, I'm not going to mention any last names, but Al said, praying and contending for the harvest of the generation. So let's pray into this. So Father, we just come together, every single one of us. We come together and we pray for the harvest of the rising generations. First of all, Father, we ask for everyone who is named on the sidebar and everyone who is named in these emails that you, Lord of the harvest, Lord Jesus Christ, King of kings and Lord of lords, we ask that you would send laborers, first of all, across the paths of those that we are praying for who don't know you because you are the Lord of the harvest. And not only that, Father, but we ask that you would send the rain, send the revival, send a restoration, send the move of your spirit into the hearts and the lives of these rising generations. Okay, now we're going to pray for Christopher and um actually christopher is asking for prayer and he wants us to pray for eric and Brittany and christine um eric to be happy and to come to church and find the lord okay so we're gonna do that so father we thank you for eric now if this is somebody in your sphere of influence you you agree with me so we pray for eric father we pray that you sit in your word jesus that you have come that, that, that he would have life and life more abundantly so we pray that eric would have a revelation of your heart and your love and therefore come into a place of life and life more abundantly but not only that we pray father that that eric that you father god would give him a hunger and a thirst for righteousness stir within him a hunger and a thirst for righteousness now if you have someone that you know needs that particular kind of prayer you just agree with me and pray it out of your own mouth or pray in the Holy Ghost, which is the perfect prayer. We pray for Brittany as well, Father, that they would would uh, that they would have come to know and understand your heart, Father. We pray for Christine, according to Jeremiah thirty two. Uh, 33 father father we pray that they would be your people and that you would be their God not only for these young people father but all those that are listed in the sidebar and all those who have their hearts turn toward you on on the replay those that have their hearts turned toward you and are praying for those in their sphere of influence we pray that they would be your people and that you Lord would be their God. And I love this scripture. We pray, Father, that you would give them one heart and one way that they may reverently fear you forever for the good of themselves and of their children after them. And Father, we pray and we decree and we declare that you would make an everlasting covenant with them, that you will not turn away or they wouldn't turn away from following you and that you would never stop doing them good and that you would put your fear in their hearts hearts so that they will not depart from you i think this i'm reading out of the amplified but i think another translation says and i love this scripture it says i pray that you would give them a heart to know you 
And, and God actually said, I'm going to give my people a heart to know me. So, Father, we pray for the rising generations, and we pray for Christine and Brittany and Eric, that you would give them a heart to know you. Not only them, but all those on the sidebar. So, Father, we pray that you would rejoice over them and do them good, and then plant them in the land assuredly and in truth with with your whole heart and with your whole being. So, Father, we pray that these young people, that Eric would be planted in a church, that you would lead him and guide him and direct him to a church, that you would plant him, that he would have that hunger and a thirst for righteousness, and that you, by your Holy Spirit, would draw him in. Okay? Now, we're going to pray for Susan's daughter, Sharon. And uh, her for Sharon, and then her grandson Anthony, Joel, and granddaughter Alyssa Marie. Okay, so um, she didn't know Jeremiah three fourteen. I looked it up. So Jeremiah three fourteen. I like that you put scripture. You, you you know you're 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 doing the work on your own. And this scripture says, "Return, O faithless children." Okay, so Father, we call the faithless children in. We call the backslider in. We call them back to Father's house. And if you have anyone that's backslidden, Father, we call them in. We call them in in Jesus' name. Not only that you give them a heart to know you, but that the Holy Spirit would convict them and convince them of their need for Jesus, that they would have a divine encounter with you in the name of Jesus that they would return, Father, that, and that you would show them that you are the Lord, the master and husband to them. Father, we pray that they wouldn't fear you. You said in your word that perfect love drives out fear. So we pray that you would reveal your heart to them as, as, as a husband, as Lord, and as King. Father, and we also pray, and I, I added this in, Susan. I also pray that you would give these children the spiritual shepherds after their own heart who will feed these rising generations with knowledge and understanding. This is so good. So, Father, we pray for the rising generations. We pray for the children that are on the sidebar and in these emails. Father, we pray that you would draw them into a church, even like, like, like our sister said concerning Eric. Father, that you would draw them into a church and not only draw them into a church, but, Father, for the rising generations, that you would give them shepherds after your own heart, that you would speak tenderly to the hearts of the rising generations through true shepherds, not hirelings, but shepherds who have a heart for the sheep and a heart to, to train and teach and equip this next generation. Father, we pray that you would anoint these leaders and these shepherds and these teachers with fresh oil, that there would be a rising up of the spirit of wisdom and revelation and knowledge that they would teach, Father, exactly how these young people need to be taught, of course, with the scriptures and the word of God without compromise. But Father, we pray that you would give them wisdom to discern the times and the seasons that they live in so that they can effectively reach the right generations give them creative insight um, creative ways to reach these young people father I pray that that the shepherds and the leaders that they would have a supernatural that they would minister supernaturally I remember what buddy Harrison used to say he said the shepherds they're just as supernatural as all the rest of the fivefold ministry gifts that they can pastor supernaturally. So, Father, we agree together, all of us, together we pray that you would cause the leadership in the times and the seasons to be relevant without compromising the Word of God so that they can reach the rising generations. And then Betty, she had a prayer request. I like this because this takes, in a way, the work off of me, and it causes me to see what's on your hearts, and then we can all learn by listening to me demonstrate how to pray the prayer of intercession. 
And it's one thing to keep teaching and teaching and teaching. It's another thing to demonstrate the prayer of intercession. Some things are better caught than taught. And this is what we're believing for tonight, for an impartation of how to pray the prayer of intercession through demonstration. So, Father, we thank you for Betty. The Father, her son Brian is on your heart, her heart. Yes, I'm not saying any last names. And Father, we thank you that you are a God who is more than enough. And that greater is the God that is in the earth than any alcoholic addiction, any addiction that Brian may have. First of all, uh, he, he's got an alcoholic problem, okay? That's the, that's the prayer request. But we're going to pray the answer. So we come against you spirits of darkness that would try to keep Brian from entering into the kingdom of God. Father, we pray for Brian that he would have a thirst for you a thirst for you and lord that you would supernaturally deliver him from the snare of the fowler okay and and here's the scripture she gave me there is no temptation regardless of its source that has overtaken brian or any of you that have anyone in your sphere of influence who has addictions that has overtaken or enticed brian and that is not common to human experience that's why we can't judge people okay we can't judge people we've got to look on the heart you see god sees the beginning and the end and eric may it may eric he'll get saved because we're believing god for that but eric may be someone who turns the world upside down with his ministry of testimony and the bible says that he'll be able to comfort others where with the same comfort wherewith he has comforted others by God. So we stand in agreement with that scripture. Um, but God is faithful to his word. He is compassionate and trustworthy. He will not let Brian or anyone who you are praying for to be tempted beyond their ability to resist. So Father, we stand in agreement with Betty that Aaron, that Brian and anyone else in this in this replay or in this live will be able to resist the temptation to 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 drink to do drugs to numb themselves but father may they open up their hearts to you jesus but you give them the ability to resist along with the temptation then you will always father we agree together that you will provide a way of escape now, Father, we, we pray for Sabrina. Diane sent a prayer request in for Sabrina. Not exactly sure. She was diagnosed with Turner Syndrome, and I looked it up, and there's several um, symptoms. But the scripture that Diane gave me for Sabrina was Isaiah 54, 1. Uh, shout for joy, O barren one, she who has not given birth. Break forth into joyful shouting and rejoice. She who has not gone into labor with child. So this leads me to believe that Sabrina not only needs healing from Turner Syndrome, and I looked it up, it has multiple um, uh, symptoms, but Sabrina, uh, it sounds to me like Sabrina wants to have a child. So Father, you said in your word, none will lose their young by miscarriage nor be barren in the land. We stand in the gap on the behalf of any young person, not just Sabrina, but we stand in the gap that any young person who's trying to get pregnant, we break the power of that infertility. And Father, you cause the barren woman, there's an anointing on this, to be the happy mother of children. So Lord, we stand in agreement. Father, we thank you for miracle babies. We thank you, Father, for signs and wonders and miracle babies that will be born in a time such as this through these women who are have been having trouble conceiving. So we speak fruitfulness to their bodies. We speak fruitfulness into their bodies. Fruitfulness. Say it with me. I speak fruitfulness in Jesus' name. Okay? So, yeah, Betty said... Um, uh, praise you, Lord, seeing supernatural evidence of previous mentioned child. Yes. Agree with me. This is just the beginning. Total breakthrough of thoughts, decisions, priorities. 
family providing, caring, feeling, the responsibility. And we won't, we, yes, it's all here in the comment. So Lord, we stand with Betty. We stand in agreement in the name of Jesus. We lay one hand on Sabrina, one hand on, 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 on her family, and one hand on you, Father. And we agree together that there's no temptation taken this child, but you, Lord, provide a way of escape. And for Sabrina as well. And then we pray for Tav, T-A-V. Here's the scripture Diane gave me for this, this particular 25-year-old. Therefore, thus says the Lord, now in this case it's to Jeremiah, but we're putting Tav's name in this, and you could put the name of your child in this. If you repent and give up this mistaken attitude of despair and self-pity, so Father, we come into agreement that Tav comes to a place of godly sorrow which brings repentance that tav comes into a place of con conviction that you holy spirit can bring to him because your ministry is to convict and convince the world of their need for jesus so lord we pray that you would bring conviction to tav and anyone else father who is in agreement that we are praying for it says here then i will restore to you or tav or any of the children that we're praying for to a state of inner peace so, Father, we just speak peace to Tab. We speak peace to any child. We ask that you would give them peace. Jesus Christ, you are the Prince of Peace. You are the Mighty God. You are the Everlasting Father. You are the Prince of Peace. Great peace have they which love your law, and nothing shall by any means harm them. So we pray that the Prince of Peace would be uh, manifested to these young people so that you may stand before me as my obedient representative. Father, we come in agreement that the rising generations, when they hear the sound, when they hear the call, when they hear the name of Jesus, that they won't harden their hearts, but they'll come into a place of repentance. They'll come into a place of wanting to know you and, and, um, we pray that there would be unwavering doubt. And then, Lord, then they, these rising generations, after they've repented, after they've come to you, we pray that they would become your spokesmen. Hallelujah. We agree, Father, that they would turn away from the adultery and the wickedness and that you, Father, would make them your mouthpiece. Remember this, my friends, where sin abounds, Grace does so much more abound. So when you see a child sitting in darkness and sitting in all, some of these things that we've already mentioned, just know that God said, according to Psalms 121, that he's going to lift them up out of the darkness, set their feet upon a rock, and he's going to put a new song in their mouths. And Father, we stand in agreement, and we decree and we declare this to be true on the behalf. Now, Camilla... Father, we pray for Camilla, who's 40. I love that. Camilla's 40. May he grant Camilla. Father, we come into agreement. May you grant Camilla. And Father, even my daughter, Danielle, may you grant Camilla and anyone else who is on your heart, you agree with me, that he would grant Camilla the desires of her heart and make all her plans succeed. I believe the verse that's before Psalms 20 verse 4 is that, that if you commit your ways to the Lord, he will cause your thoughts to become agreeable with his thoughts, then your plans will succeed. So Father, we pray that Camilla would commit her whole way to you that she would trust wholly in you, that Danielle would do the same, and all the others that need to commit their ways unto you. And then therefore, Father, you will cause their thoughts to become agreeable with your thoughts, and then all their plans will succeed. Father, we thank you for Kim, and we thank you for her two children, Brianna and Brooke. Father, we just agree together for Brianna that whoever or whatever Anything, anyone, any relationship that is not planted by you, Father, we pray that you would protect, guard, and keep her, that any relationship would be uprooted in the name of Jesus, that you would put within Brianna such an alarm system, such a knowing, 
<clears throat> such a, a feeling of being uncomfortable that she will run away from anything that would distract to Jesus and that she would run into the arms of Jesus. So, Father, we stand in agreement on the behalf of Brianna that sin shall no longer have dominion over her. Father, we thank you that Brianna is not under the law, but under grace. So, Father, may she embrace grace. May she embrace the grace of God. You said in your word that where sin abounds, grace does so much more abound. And we stand in agreement for that for Brianna and anyone else here who needs to be in agreement with, with, with this prayer. Father, we pray for Brianna and we pray for the others in these families that, <clears throat> that they would have a knowledge, a revelation knowledge of who they are in Christ Jesus. Awaken Brianna <clears throat> and all others to their connection with God. I really felt this strong on my heart for Brianna and for some of your children that, that they would be awakened to their connection with God as fathers. That they wouldn't behave or act as orphans, but they would know the heart of the Father. That they would come to know and understand, Father, your heart. That you're not mad at them. That they don't have to fear you. That you're not a performance kind of a God. That you love them with the agape kind of love. That the, the, yeah, that, that, that the unconditional love of God will drive out any fear. And that you're like the father who calls the prodigal son in. And you have that robe. And you have that ring. And you want to embrace the prodigals. So again, we just thank you that the prodigals have to come home. They have to come home. Let me tell you something, those of you that are live and those of you that are listening on the podcast or the replay, let me tell you something. Let's just take a little break here from praying. Let me just tell you something. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Don't think that your prayers don't work and that you have to know a lot of scripture. I love that you. many of you sent in these scriptures you just need one promise that meets that need and that's what you present before the throne room that's what you declare over their lives and the word of god like we taught last week does not return void it creates an atmosphere all around them and it hovers around them and it produces fruit life and death are in the power of the tongue so don't grow weary in well doing and don't be discouraged okay so we thank you, Father God. We thank you for Brooke. We thank you, Lord God, that you haven't given Brooke a spirit of fear, but you've given Brooke a spirit of love and of power and a sound mind. May the power of God rise up within, within Brooke and any other child in these rising generations who are dealing with fear and anxiety and this kind of torment we pray that the spirit of the living God would rise up within them, give illumination to their minds and understanding to their hearts that they are strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, that they don't have a spirit of fear. May they stir up the, the, the power of God that's within them and realize who they are in Christ Jesus. May they not be afraid of the faces of man, but, they, but may they look unto you, Jesus, uh, the author and the finisher of their faith, and may they run this race that's set before them with faith, with confidence, and with the power of the living God. And I thank you, yes, that Brooke has a sound mind. Now, Mary sent me in um, a prayer request for Christopher and Savannah. The type is a little small, so just bear with me. Okay? So, she said, and I'm going to agree. Okay? Got it? If two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything, it shall be done for them by my Father in heaven. And all of us are agreeing. You may be agreeing with me on the behalf of these children and then going back and praying for your children. That's where it comes. That's where, that's where Job 42.10 comes in. The Lord will turn your captivity. When you stand in the gap on the behalf of someone else's child, God can work miracles and wonders because like we said, you're setting in motion the law of love, which is selfless, okay? So Mary says, I'm praying for protection for them. And he, here's the scripture she said she looked up. Isaiah 45, 2. 
It says, I will go before you and make the rough places smooth. So, Father, we thank you for going before Savannah and Christopher. You go before the path of their life. Make the crooked ways straight and the rough places plain. May the mountains and the hills break forth before them into singing and the trees of the field clap their hands. We pray that you would go before them and prepare the way. We pray, Father God. That no weapon formed against these two young people will prosper in the name of Jesus. No weapon. No weapon. When they walk through the valley, they will not be hurt. When they walk through the valley of the shadow of death, they will not suffer. When they walk through, Father, you will be with them. Your rod and your staff will guard them and protect them. Another scripture. The Lord is the one who goes ahead of you. He will be with you. He will not fail you, Christopher or Savannah, and he will not forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. Okay, here's another scripture. Wow, she's got a lot. You, O oh Lord, are a shield around Chris and Savannah. You are their glory. So, Father, you're the glory also on the rising generations. You're the, you're the glory around all those in our sphere of influence. We thank you, Lord, that you are the glory and the lifter of their heads. When their heads are bowed down in depression and anxiety, thank you, Lord, that you put your hand under their chin and you lift up their hand. We thank you, Lord, for their that you are the glory and the one who lifts their heads. We thank you, Lord, that God is Chris and Savannah's refuge and strength, a very present help in that time of trouble. I need to pray in tongues over this one right here. I'm getting something on the inside. So pray in the Holy Ghost with me. Wow, we've been praying in English for 30 minutes. That's pretty good for me. <laughs> so let's start praying in tongues because I have the, an unction to pray in tongues. Keep praying in tongues while I take my water. Ela Makaya Reki Stamane, no, 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 no. Let a casisto poroshikine nanamanaya. Now we don't know what we're praying about, but the Holy Ghost knows, so let's keep praying till we get a release. Ela Makaya Nandeshtikini, no, Nenebegista, Rabba, Katele, Begisha, Lita Vesu Sovijikine, no, 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 no. Ladarabashe Kete, Ladarabashe Kete, hey. You are a very present help in the time of trouble. It's interesting, but I have a healing anointing in my left hand, and my left hand is starting to get very, very hot. So, Father, whoever this is for, even if it's for Christopher or Savannah or someone else that's listening, Father, we just release the healing virtue of God to go into their bodies. Father, the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells on the inside of the rising generations who are believers. So, Father, we agree together that you quicken their mortal bodies. So if you have a young person who's who needs healing in their bodies, agree with me. No, 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 no. Father, we ask that you send your word and heal them and deliver them from the destruction of the enemy, spirit, soul, and body. And we agree together in Jesus' name. She goes on to give us Psalm 62 2. God alone is Chris and Savannah's rock and their salvation. God is their fortress, and they shall not be shaken. Father, that's a good one. We thank you that the rising generations will not be shaken. Father, there has been shaking. But Lord, on the inside of them, you promised us. You said that you have put something on the inside of these rising generations that has heretofore not been put into any other generations that have ever walked the face of this earth. So, Father, we decree and we declare your word over them that they will not be shaken. We pray, God, that you'd strengthen them with might 
by your spirit in the inner man, in the core of their being, that that, that grit factor, that something on the inside, that you would just strengthen them, that you would enlarge their tents on the inside, do something on the inside in Jesus' name. My hand is still burning. So, Father, we thank you for Julie's children, uh, Cheris and Ariel. We thank you, Father, for the power of a praying parent, for the power of Julie's prayers. Father, we come into agreement, all of us, on the behalf of Julie's children, Cheris and Ariel. Father, we thank you. We come in the case the key of Manaya Kashita in the Manaya Kasso Rangin Zankin Damvin Shaken Nai. Nay, no, 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 Maneniki Stama. No, 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 no. I speak to those that spirit in the name of Jesus, and I come against destruction and death and torment. And I command you in Jesus' name to take your hands off of God's property. All of Julie's children will be taught by the Lord and great will be the peace and the undisturbed composure of her children. They shall live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. We thank you, Lord God, that they'll declare the works of the Lord. We thank you, Lord God, that you said in your word to train up a child in the ways that they should go. And when they are old, they will not depart from us. We pray for every word of God every song, every hymn, every spiritual song, everything that Ariel and Cheris has heard, we pray, Holy Spirit, you live on the inside of them, we know that. We pray that you would bring it to their remembrance in the name of Jesus. And for Ariel, Lord, we thank you that you give your angels charge over her to guard her and all her ways this is psalms 91 11 and 12 that they you will they will lift up their hands so that they will not they will not strike their foot against a stone so we thank you for that we praise you for that and we cover these children with the blood of jesus the blood of jesus and Father, I ask that you go into their bedrooms, that you go right where they're sleeping, and that you would invade their bedrooms and visit them in the nighttime. Give them dreams and visions in the nighttime, that you would show these children your glory in Jesus' name. Okay? Now, Tammy sent in a prayer request for Destiny and Jason. Okay? I went, I read through these, and I circled the um, names because some of the, the emails are a little bit more, they're a little longer. Okay, so we thank you for Destiny and Jason. Father, we thank you for Destiny. We, Father, we ask that every step she takes would be ordered and established by you, that you would order her steps, that she would hear a voice within her saying, this is the way, walk ye in it. Father, as she delights herself in you, we ask that you would rise up within her with the desires of her heart, that those desires would be her desires, that you would cause her thoughts to become agreeable with your thoughts, and then her plans will succeed. They shake Tenanamaya Kosea. And I pray for Destiny and any other children who are listening. Father, we pray that that you would faith and hope would arise in her heart in Jesus' name. We thank you for Destiny and Jason. Father God, that you would pour in the oil and the wine, so to speak, meaning that you would um, mend the broken hearts. Lord, you even said in your word that you are close to the brokenhearted. So Father, that closeness, Cause them to hear the whispers of your heart that says, I love you, Jason. I love you, Destiny, with an everlasting love and no good thing will I withhold from you. Father, we pray that you would create in them a clean heart 
and renew a right spirit within them that your holy spirit that's on the inside of them would would manifest the lord jesus christ as the lord of glory and the lord who is with them in trouble and we praise you for that now she's got a lot of scripture when the righteous cry for help the lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles we agree together for the rising generations and we agree together for destiny and jason and all these other children we pray for lord oh here she said it i didn't know she had this i mean i read it but i forgot about it the lord is near to the brokenhearted see there's your confirmation and saves the crushed in spirit many are the afflictions of the righteous the lord you deliver our children out of them all jeremiah 29 11 for i know the plans i have for you destiny and jason and all these other children their plans to prosper them and not harm them to give them a hope and a future so father we agree together for the rising generations that your plans for them are plans to prosper them and not harm them to give them a hope for their future in jesus name and without faith hebrews eleven six, it is impossible to please him for whoever will draw near to god must believe that he is father we pray that they would draw near to you and not draw back father because we know that with man it is impossible but with God, all things are possible. And we thank you, Father God, that your blood and the name of Jesus is above every other name for all of these children, for Destiny and Jason, over all these children. And we pray that this, when they receive you, that they'll come to a knowledge of who they are in Christ, that they're reconciled to God through Jesus Christ okay now valerie has a very interesting prayer request she's praying for 110 kids ages 6 to 18 the Calo academy so we're going to do that yes we can pray for 110 kids and then she's also got her kids their spouses their grandkids samantha david salem winston emberly durbin morgan andrew no last names billy leanne uh gabe okay all the all her nieces and nephews <laughs> kids of my heart jen cody hannah 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 h and hannah o nicole who's fighting cancer that's a separate prayer and then grace so father we just lift up all these children that are on valerie's heart and her specific prayer request is ephesians 3 17 through 18 and all the children that are listening, yes, 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 that are that the, the parents that are listening on the behalf of their children, that Christ may dwell in their hearts through faith. And we pray that these young people, all of these young people that Valerie has listed, and the 110 kids ages 6 through 18, we pray that they would be rooted in and established in love and may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp. Now, stay with me. I'm the one leading. Please stay with me. That they would grasp with all the Lord's holy people how wide and high and long and deep is the love of Christ. Jesus, we ask that you'd open up the treasure chest of your heart to each and every one. That you would pour out a blessing upon each one. That you'd open up the treasure chest of your heart and that you would reveal your heart to these young people. We ask in Jesus' name. And Father, these children that, that are in, uh, in this academy, you know, uh, we, we ask that you would give them uh, mentors and leaders and people that can mentor them that you would lead guide and direct them into places where they need to be to get help that you'd give the parents wisdom and how to reach them and wisdom and how to speak into their lives that you would put your words in the parents mouths in jesus name and father we pray for gia lord and we pray for all those in the rising generations 
that these children and Gia dwells in the shelter of the Most High, that Gia and all of those that you are praying for rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Gia will say of the Lord, see how you can put your child's name in here? He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save Gia. This is Psalms 91 from the fowler's snare. Now this is a declaration that we're declaring over Gia. And from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover Gia with his feathers and under his wings Gia will take refuge. His faithfulness will be Gia's shield and rampart as well as for your children and your grandchildren and those in your sphere of influence. Gia will not fear the terror of night nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at noonday. A thousand may fall at Gia's side, and ten thousand at Gia's right hand, but it will not come near Gia. Now put your child's name in here, okay? Chai. Uh, um, uh, these names are hard for me to read, uh, Margaret. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you, Lord. So put your put your child's name in this in this prayer. Yes, this is a prayer protection D for our children. Gia will only observe with her eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. Gia will say, "The Lord is my refuge," and Gia will make the Most High her dwelling. This is a declaration. You can declare this. I love the way. Um, I love the way Teresa. Uh, uh, made this psalm a declaration over her child. I really like this. Gia will say, the Lord is my refuge, and Gia will make the whole Most High her dwelling. No harm will overtake Gia, nor disaster will come near Gia's tent. This is a good one to pray when they drive in their cars. He will command his angels concerning Gia to guard her in all her ways. They will lift you up in their hands so that Gia will not strike her foot against a stone. She will tread on the lion and the cobra, but she will trample the great lion and the serpent because she loves you, Lord. And says the Lord, I, and says and says the Lord, I will rescue her. I will protect her. God said, I'm going to rescue your children. I'm going to protect your children. This is the power of a praying parent or grandparent. I will protect her for she acknowledges my name. Gia will call upon me. I will answer her. I will be with her in trouble. I will deliver her and honor her. With long life, I will satisfy her and show her my salvation. Okay, now we've got, we've got two more moms. So Cheryl, so Cheryl has the names of Allison, Aaron, Hannah, Benjamin, Andrew, nieces and nephews. Okay, she's got Jessica, Jake, Zach, Paul, Henry, Ben, Matt, Tara Marie, Elena, Dina Rose, Casey and Shelby, cousins and, co and cousins, children. Okay, just big family. Alan, okay, Ira, Rochelle, Abe, Eileen, Harriet, Steve, Tammy, Shelly, David, Sharon, Monty, Brian, Matthew, Jesse, Jake, Marty, Mariah, and daughter Holly, and Hazel, Dean, and Reed, Gary, uh, Jamila, Sam, and Ben, Fred, and Charlotte. For all who, she says here, for all who are saved as well as all who are not yet saved, I pray as led the scriptures below as well as many others the Holy Spirit brings up in the moments of right now. Cheryl's got a ministry of intercession, just like you and I do. We She watches well over her household and those in her sphere of influence, and she's got a lot of children. Now, can God, can we bring all these children before the throne of grace and God can answer our prayer? Absolutely, 100%. If he knows how many hairs you have on your head and each and every one of us, we can lift all of this up. God's wanting us to enlarge our vision. He is a big God. So, Father, we pray. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pray the prayers that Cheryl has listed. And will you pray and agree with me for those in your sphere of influence? 
I pray, Father, that the eyes of their heart would be open and enlightened, that they would be flooded with light by the Holy Spirit, that they would come to know and cherish the hope, the divine guarantee, the confident expectation to which you, Father, have called them. Father, we also pray that they would come to their senses and escape from the trap of the devil and having been held captive by him to do his will. So, Father, we agree with that. And we agree with the Jeremiah 29, 11 prayer that we already prayed. And Father, we pray Psalms 34, 8 for these children in Cheryl's sphere of influence. Father, we pray that these children, that they would taste and see that the Lord, their God, is good. And that they're blessed, fortunate, prospered, and favored by God when they put their trust and take refuge in you. Father, we pray that she's quoting Proverbs 4, 20 through 27, and the verse isn't written out, but that says, My son, attend to my words. Father, may your chil these children attend to your words. May they incline their ears unto your sayings. Father, may these children not depart from may it not depart from their eyes, but may it may they keep your words in the midst of their hearts. Because Father, we know that your word is life unto those that find them and health or healing to all their flesh. So we agree together. And we agree together that the angel of the Lord encamps round about these children and you rescue them. We agree together that all of us on this live and on the replay and in the podcast, we agree together that we believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And not only are we saved, but our entire household. So, Father, we also pray that that with humility, that our children will set aside all moral filth and the growth of wickedness. We speak to any growth of wickedness. We command it to dissolve in the name of Jesus, any growth of wickedness. We put the blood of Jesus over any growth of wickedness. And we welcome and we plant the word of God in our in our prayers deep down on the inside of them. And I thank you, Father, and I agree with Cheryl that you will even deliver the ones whom we intercede who are not innocent. They will be delivered by the pureness of your hands. And so, Father, Heather, we thank you for Heather's prayer request for Jeff. Zach and Caitlin. And we thank you for her prayer request that they trust in you with all of their hearts. Lord, with their hearts, with their hearts, that they lean not to their own understanding, but in all their ways, you they acknowledge you and you direct their path. And we agree together that our faith is active in the realm of the spirit and our faith takes a hold of all of these promises we have prayed out tonight i agree with my sister our faith takes a hold of all these promises we have prayed tonight and we agree together that this is the confidence that we have in you that if we ask anything according to your will you hear us and if we know you we you hear us we know we have the petition we pray let father for corey and Genevieve, Father, Father, we ask that you give them discernment. Reke say, Father, give them discernment. We ask for discernment. I'm also hearing in my spirit for Corey and Genevieve, maybe one or the other, that you haven't given them a spirit of fear, but of love and of power and a sound and well-balanced mind. And we pray that they won't conform to the pattern of this world, but that they would be transformed by the renewing of their mind. We pray that Corey and Genevieve would put a watch over their eyes and their ears, their eye gate and their ear gate, so that they don't sin against you, so that their minds don't get affected by the things they see and hear, but that they would test and, and, and that they would be able to test and approve what the will of God is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. And then for Evan, Father. Father, we pray that Evan would love the Lord his God with all of his heart, with all of his soul, and all of his strength. Even as we prayed before that you would give Evan a heart to know you. 
all these young people, Father, a heart to know you. And lastly, Flynn, Georgia, uh, Ophelia, they're the grandbabies. <laughs> We're already praying for the grandbabies. I don't have any yet, but I, 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 I've got something on that I'm going to be teaching soon. Okay? For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him would not perish but have everlasting life. We thank you, Father, that on the inside of these grandbabies, they know you. And we thank you that they'll come to a time of the age of accountability. And we ask that when that time comes, that you rise up within them and that the Holy Spirit reveals Jesus to them as the way, the truth, and the life. Hallelujah. Wow. This is probably, for me, a record of not praying, but a record of praying in English. Usually I pray in tongues way more than I pray in English. But we prayed almost an hour in our known tongue, and we prayed the word of God. Now remember, my word, Jesus said, does not return void. It will produce, it will accomplish, it's been sent forth, we've decreed, we've declared. Now listen, I don't care what time it is, I get it. I hear the Lord saying, hold fast the confession of your faith without wavering. Don't speak negative, don't speak doubt, don't speak unbelief. We already we prayed and we're going to continue steadfast, immovable, always abounding in our prayers. This is not in vain. But watch your mouth. Put a watch over your mouth. Don't speak negative. If you have, break the power of your words and just keep speaking the word and declaring the word over your kids.